Perak Amoichres Aperos Dav Tzadi Vav, sponsored the Rafu Shlema for Shalom Aaron Ben Chana. The Gemara brings a dispute concerning the blessing over Yain Shebechan Uyoyz. Store bought wine, wine that smells like vinegar and tastes like wine. Rabbi Yehuda holds the blessing is Bar Priya Gofen, unless it is Purtzema de Mizdaben Akarnasa, wine even more inferior than those sold in shops, sold only on street corners for travelers to quench their thirst. Chizda holds the blessing of Shachul Niyabid Baro. He holds it must taste and smell like wine for it to be wine. Rabbi Yosef brings a Brisa to decide this dispute. Brisa states one who sells wine and tithes from one barrel designated for tithing must taste it periodically to ensure it is still wine and not vinegar. Once the designated barrel is vinegar, he cannot continue to tithe from it. When he is uncertain, then the Brisa states, all three days definitely, after its status is uncertain. The Gemara explains this in three ways. Number one, Rabbi Yochanan explains wine three days after tasting, like wine, is wine. Any wine used to tithe more than three days after tasting, until its second tasting when discovered to be vinegar is questionable and must be tithed a second time. The reason, he holds wine spoils in the barrel from the top down. Even if it began to sour immediately after being tasted, three days it smells like vinegar and tastes like wine and is legally wine. Number two, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi explains the Brisa, wine tithed three days before the second tasting, when it tasted like vinegar, is definitely untithed. More than three days before is questionable and must be tied a second time. The reason? Either wine turns sour from the bottom up, so after the first tasting, it may have already started to sour without his knowledge because he tasted from the top. Even if wine sours from the top, it may have started immediately after he tasted it. Wine that smells like vinegar, even if tastes like wine, is not wine. Number three, the Dromaim explain Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi differently. Three days after the first tasting is definitely wine. Three days before the second tasting is definitely vinegar. The middle days are questionable. They hold like Rabbi Yochanan, wine that smells like vinegar is wine. The last three days are definitely vinegar because it tastes then very strong. The Rashbam decides in favor of Rabbi Yochanan because the Dromaim explain Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi agreeing with Rabbi Yochanan that wine that smells like vinegar is wine. Mar brings a dispute of Rabbi Shmuel when a buyer can void a sale of wine that turned into vinegar. Rab holds the first three days the wine is the seller's after it is the buyer's. Shmuel holds chamra katve de mare shvar. It leaps on the shoulders of its owner. Although it generally takes three days to spoil, the buyer can claim it happened faster as a form of retribution to the seller. The halacha is like Shmuel in respect to both beer and wine. Gemara brings a dispute from Abraisa regarding temet, steeped residue of pressed grapes in water. Tanakama holds that the blessing is shahapo. The acherim hold the blessing is bari priyagofen. Rav explains that both agree it is wine if he adds three cups of water and removes four of wine. The dispute is concerning an additional half. Tanakam holds one part wine to six parts water is water. The Cherem hold the lees absorbed a half cup of the water added to give off a half cup of wine. So the proportion is less than one to six. If you're enjoying Daphne 5, please click on the link below, subscribe, and become a sponsor. Have a good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom.